Hey everyone, I'm Jim from Fusion Marketing, and today I'm going to talk to you about something new that StreamYard is rolling out, and that is StreamYard Custom Layouts. I had a chance to beta test this and play around with it, and I'm telling you, it's really going to be a great thing for you and your live streaming. And so, as an example, one of the things we can do is we're able to set up up to eight custom layouts. Now, you can't have them by brand, so your account will have the same eight but we're going to go over a couple of things. So as an example, I've already set up and I'm going to show you how we do this later. I have created this look here. So if I want to use my overhead camera, you can see that I now was able to put myself in the right corner. You're going to be able to decide where you want to put it. You could change the shape a little bit if you wanted to, if you didn't like this camera in the upper right. Um, and so that's, and so that's one of the options that you have. And so I'm going to uh, now show you a different look that I came up with. And this is where I'm now screen sharing to you the actual back, uh, backstage, so to speak, so you can see how we build these layouts. Now, the thing about these layouts being built is that you can't like do it during the show. This is something you're going to need to set up ahead of time. And if you've got multiple people in the account, you, know, you need to make sure maybe that you agree on who's going to do it. So as you can see here, if I go into uh, edit this camera here, this layout, you can see where I set this up with the corner here. And then this was the other camera because you can use two cameras on StreamYard. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cancel out of that one. I also created this one here where we could have three across, right? Maybe we want to change up uh, how our look, you know, you can have up to 10 people on screen and one media asset. Media asset being as an example, the screen share that I'm showing there. Another one I created was what we call the uh, the Instagram look. And so I'm actually gonna do that real quick so you kind of get an idea of what we're talking about here. And so with the Instagram look, right, I've now put myself in the middle because if you're gonna go live on Instagram from your desktop, you've got to remember that you're not gonna be able to have uh, anything out to the left or right, it's not going to show up because Instagram is a vertical uh, video platform at this point in time. So I kind of came up with this way as a way to kind of see how it would look. You know, if I wanted to, I could set up a, a, a custom layout where maybe I have two camera windows, maybe three, but just remember you're, you're going to kind of have a, have a small look there. And so we're going to go back to, to this look here. And so the other thing we can also do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel, save this one over here. And now we've got, uh, so this is the one that I was just showing you that we're looking at right now. This is my camera. This is my media. So, you know, if you've got a presentation you want to do. And the other thing you could do is you could move this up and down. So maybe you want it to, and, and you can see, uh, you know, maybe you want to have it in a different spot if you're building your layouts you're going to want to put things now at this time comments will not you know shift up so you so be aware of that that with these custom layouts you're not going to necessarily do that and so then let's go ahead and we're going to kind of show you what happens if we want to add a new layout here's where we add the items so there's a dynamic camera grid is what they call it right and we can do a couple things we can say this is fit so we're looking at the landscape if we do fill you can see that now we have these are filling that whole window because think of some of your older layouts. And then if we want to uh, do horizontal alignment, right, we can we can go to the right um, over here. Right. We can go to left. So we can really put these anywhere. And if we want to make them smaller, right, these are automatically resizing. So, you know, maybe you want to have something a little different. You know, maybe you want to have two people over here, and then we're going to add another camera slot. Uh, you know, maybe this is your guest, and so you can make this bigger as an example. And then one of the things you can do is we can actually move this layer forward so it'll actually be covering the corner. So really, this is really going to give you a lot of creativity options with StreamYard. So I think that's uh, going to be pretty exciting as far as seeing what people come up with. And I know they're going to continue to work on making changes. You know, maybe we want to see circles. Not so sure what I think about triangles, but I do think uh, this is definitely going to help you set yourself apart and make your 
live streams the best they can be. And so I hope you found this helpful. Let me know what you think of the new StreamYard custom layouts.